I'm sure you've spoken about the Instagram post that you put out earlier this week, but I just wanted to commend you on the courage to be so vulnerable and the and the and and how brave it was. And if people don't know, uh, you just would just basically listed on Instagram every I think anyone who's ever had any body issues or uh, self consciousness, you just listed it out there. And I was reading it, going, "That's me." Like, really? oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like, going to the beach is the most excruciating part has been for me over my entire life. Hate the idea of it because you're so uh, conscious about what everyone else is thinking. And I just wanted to commend you on putting it out there because I'm sure you have seen the response to it. But were you shocked with how many people that would have resonated with? Definitely. Um, I feel like I got like an overwhelming amount of support from people. And it's cool to hear you say this too, because obviously because I'm a woman, like I feel like I see these crazy body standards for women, but then like I realize for men too, like for everybody, it's oh, like. Oh, can I? I was going to say, like, uh, you know, it is, it is, it is album promo for you, but I did want to touch on it. Body standards for women, I think, is something that we all can socially agree have been so toxic for so long. But on the other hand, for men, it's something that is ever prevalent in society. We don't really talk about it. Um, yeah. And in fact, and, and in different. fact, and in fact, we we have developed language where we still shame guys. For a dad bod, if you are out of yeah. shape, right? Like, and somehow it, it's been misconstrued, I think, as language where we seem to be supportive. But actually what you're saying there is, oh, you're, you're, you're out of shape or overweight, but don't worry, we like you because you've got a dad bod. Not, not actually realizing as a guy, what I hear is, don't be fat. You don't want to have a dad bod. That's not desirable. That's just a mechanism to excuse someone who might be out of shape. So then for me, I'm stuck in the situation where I'm like, well, f- I'm not taking my shirt off. I'm not going to go out there and expose myself to that criticism. It's, it's, it's ironically, we are so, men and women are so closely aligned on those body shame issues than anyone has ever really spoken openly about. No, yeah. And I think the difference too is, I mean, one of the differences is that I think like maybe men don't have the permission to be as vulnerable about it because there's a lot of shame around expressing that kind of expressing uh, vulnerabilities or anxieties and insecurities and like that, like toxic masculinity thing. Um, But yeah, I, I got so much support from it. And for me, like, it's like, yeah, it's been so, uh, the right like so present in my life like the past few years as my body changes my metabolism changes and it's just like a lot of pressure because it's like to me if I go to the beach like with my friends or family like I mean I'm fortunate that I'm like I didn't have self-consciousness about that but it's like when I started going to the beach and there was like a million fucking paparazzi there and then I saw the pictures like the day after and I I don't even look at what people really say about me on purpose but sometimes I just stumble upon it and it takes me like therapy I have to like book a therapy session and talk about it because I feel so insecure and then I get myself to a good place and then I would go to the beach three weeks later and same thing like you know it's just like it's it's uh it's exhausting and I think that for for everybody um and not just women, it's like we live in such a exhausting time because mm-hmm. there's pictures everywhere. There's always, it's just always, you can't just go to the beach and be present. No, and you're then, always, I don't know about you, yeah, but you're, sure. you're always not good enough. There's always something that you aren't on yet. There's always some, a trend that you aren't aware of. There's a clothes that you're not wearing. There's, you know, and if you're, if you're, you're always not hustling, if you're taking a break, someone else is hustling and then they're working harder than you. It's just exhausting. No, I don't buy into that hustle culture thing. Like I, I stopped buying, subscribing to that a long time ago, but yeah, I think it's also my intention in posting that too is like, you are maybe seeing a picture of whatever, some person that looks amazing at the beach, some celebrity, and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, like, oh, I wish I could be like them, whatever. But what you don't know is that person that you thought looked amazing in those pictures 
literally sucked in so tight they couldn't breathe they didn't have a fun time they didn't eat the meal that they, they wanted. were hungry they spent the whole day they hungry, hungry. <laughs> yeah exactly and then it's like why are we not talking about the fact that this is just impossible for everybody it's just impossible 